What's up, everyone? I'm back with another topic news article today. We're going to be talking about, unfortunately, which. Fuck. The big streaming, sir, uh, streaming uh, service, I guess. Yeah, it's a streaming uh, platform. Let's say that on on here. It's mostly for gaming, but there's other things on there. But now Twitch has included in their TOS, their policies, that there's going to be artistic nudity as well as their sexual content. So now it's not going to be family friendly. You, It's probably not for kids no more. It's mostly 18 plus content on there. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of weird, weird, weird stuff on there. So prepare to get blown of what is going on on Twitch. They've been simping hard and now they're full blown weird. Absolutely weird. <laughs> weird, weird. So before we get into the topic ahead, I'd like it if you guys could like, follow, sub share all the good things on here i'm trying to increase this community i'm trying to make more videos for all of you guys more videos like this and if you do enjoy it please hit those if you could uh i really appreciate if you could on there very very much all right let's get into the topic ahead why is twitch doing this well i've seen it for years but let's just read these articles and let's just check out what is going on altogether? All right, guys, we're on my Twitter right now. I tweeted this out. I just want to let you guys know what I thought about this new update. So Twitch will now allow artistic nudity following the viral topless meta. So this was what it was. That's why I have her on my thumbnail. We're going to be talking about her. Why she got... Uh, <sighs> she got all the show light on her. Uh, because she was saying she was topless. But, you know, it was half. It was like chest half. You know, you couldn't see her like actually like nipples. But like the area, you know, of her, you know... Uh, like her chest but like her upper chest you know um of the, her uh she is an only fans keep that in mind for later okay so yeah so this is what happened what happened with twitch they banned her all that stuff happened and now they changed their rules but so what i said on twitter i was on twitter you guys can check that out uh, I said, I didn't know Menon from Street Fighter 6 was on Twitch, lol. <laughs> she kind of does look like Menon. Not gonna lie. Look at her. Okay, that's her. And that's Menon. I, that's why I used her in the thumbnail itself, too. Because <laughs> um, she does look like Menon. At first, not gonna lie, guys, I thought this was a man. I literally, like... Her shoulders. I didn't. I don't see her Adam's apple. I want to see if she does have an Adam's apple. But to be honest, at first glance, I just like you know skip through it. Now I was like, is this a man? I questioned that a lot. So whatever. All these people are simping for her. So this is what happened. So you know, the meta thing. Uh, the half, you know, not showing titties, but like you could see some like cleavage, I guess. Um, so, and then I said, and, uh, this thing with Twitch, I'm sorry, this is not artistic anything, but a completely different content all, altogether, which I'm saying 18 plus, not for children. Uh, and if you're an adult, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, getting into that as well. Um. I feel like Twitch is going to be all like these teenagers going on there, you know, interested what is going on and all that. <sighs> Twitch is uh, different now. 
not what it used to be. It's very, uh, it has changed over the years. Twitch is becoming a simp and it's trash as time progresses. It is. That's why I stop. I'm, I still have a Twitch account. I have some people on my Twitch still, but I have moved away from Twitch. I started a lot of my streaming and like uh, videos and all that on Twitch actually when I first started and then I moved away I moved to YouTube and then after YouTube I'm still on YouTube I'm still doing content obviously you guys are watching it here on YouTube or on Rumble as I said those are like the both places I usually go you know for videos usually and streams um, kick is another thing on the side. May, sometimes I would stream on kick, but that's for another topic. But, um, yeah, I started on Twitch. I've seen Twitch go downhill. They don't have gambling on there. They have sexual content. They have all this stuff. You know, there's all these no, no, no's and yes, yes, yes. And there's people that got banned for literally nothing. Bruh. Get that straight. They literally got banned for nothing or they got banned for their own opinions on the platform. And it's it's very uh, socialist, uh, very, very communist mindset. I don't like Twitch. I don't like what they're doing. The only reason I go on Twitch once in a while is I have some um, people I follow. I usually watch them, you know, if they're streaming. But also, you know, they got the Amazon Prime. Sometimes you get these cool goodies for games you love. Sometimes you get all those stuff. That's it. I never go to Twitch ever. It's such a horrible platform. And you can tell over the years, it's changed so much. It's not, it's not friendly at all. It's really, it doesn't like smaller creators. Um, it's just super uh, toxic. I don't know. I feel like Twitch is full of just weird ass people too. I know there are some good people. I'm not saying that, but there's some weird, weird, weird people, especially now with this new TOS. What is in this TOS you're asking, right? So what did they change about Twitch? The so Twitch updated their sexual content policy changes uh let's see show more <clears throat> let's see okay so changes certain content now allowed with uh labels okay uh artistic nudity uh permitted under sexual teams label uh game game nudity contextual labels necessary body painting acceptable without appropriate label mature games label generally cover content Screen visibility impact by content labels. Okay, and then we got what do we have here? So here it is. Working and grinding and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Changes to popular dances. Popular dances such as twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Uh previously, uh previously some dances were prohibited and others were allowed with a label. Enforcing on dances regardless of content meant our policy uh, prohibited twerking at a w wedding or taking a pole dancing exercise class. For example, the policy now takes context into consideration and only prohibits streaming inside of an adult entertainment establishment. Just a sick world we're living in. Sick people. You know, this is going to get obviously ruined. Um, people are going to be breaking it like this girl did. You know, she broke it. She's trying to push the limits of what she can do. And now I don't even want to really like mention her, she, you know, because she's getting all the fame now because that's, you know, public. She's becoming a public figure. She's getting the fame. So I'm not trying to like really, yes, she's in the story because she's the one that this thing happened and Twitch was like, oh, okay, she got banned. She got banned, but then Twitch changed her mind. 
they were simping for her so hard and now they changed the contacts and she's probably gonna be coming back like um that one girl um was getting uh rammed from the back uh on twitch and she only got weak uh suspension and she came back whatever uh she was like drunk and stuff yeah and um other uh situations like that too where it's like oops you know they showed some content this i think it was like pokimane or someone i remember they were just doing they were watching like avatar i think it was avatar last airbender or something without any like content it was just pure just watch or something like that and she would just say oh huh wow that's not content that has nothing to do that's not content you should be pausing each time and describing what the heck you just saw what do you think uh, what's your thoughts like that's not you know if you're doing a reaction especially if you're doing a whole show or movie you know there's there's guidelines to that that's why there is like uh you know there's like copyright issues and all of that so what the heck are you doing like and she only got like a week off and she got like paid a lot more or something like that i remember some kind of issue with that and she's like yeah i just bought like a new car or something with my thing good thing i was off for a whole week and then um something like that happened and people were like wow these uh some of these streamers are just full of it you know there's just too too much ego going on there too much really all right so let's read the article i went on this uh thing which updated sexual content guidelines uh amid topless meta backlash okay so here we go uh or the weekend of december 8th a new meta gained popularity on twitch after streamer cosplayer and only fans like i said model uh morg morgie pie went viral on social media morgie pie streamer showed the broadcaster seemingly topless barking outrage across the net as to what kinds of content was allowed on twitch three days later morgie pie was banned but now twitch has uh, officially switched up its guidelines in a relation to sexual content on its platform making these changes for streamers um she said something about also like oh i'm so proud of twitch changing this kind of uh uh situation i'm really proud of them and then she like because probably she's coming back to twitch and she's probably gonna be promoting her only fans and all that shit you know uh <sighs> so degenerating like uh, i just feel icky about it you know like come on you should be doing something else than this this is like this is close to what like porn would be you know this is like un like it's it's so close to being porn that it's not even funny like you're it's super close to just like the nudity to the fullest you know like this is what you have like people go on these sites they have like these girls dancing nude and all this weird shit you know this is pretty much to that level twitch is going to oh it's so weird guys let, let, let's just keep on reading twitch changes guidelines after topless uh stuff okay in response to the feedback from streamers regarding to guidelines twitch rolled out a massive update its approach to sexual content on december 13th oh, is this a new one no it's the same article okay in a large post twitch uh you major changes updates blah blah blah, blah uh highlights uh content that deliberately highlights breasts buttocks and pelvic region even with fully clothed provided that it is properly labeled okay so it has to be labeled adult content or something and then it's okay on twitch kids teenagers i don't know it's so easy to find now like pornographic uh you know videos online and all that stuff it's not as like when i was growing up you know when i saw like we had like uh 
comics. I know this one kid would bring it in and he would be like, dude, you know, he would have it in his pocket. He would have some sort of dude. Jalou, look at these breasts, dude. Oh my God. Like it was like one of those things like, oh my God, like all that stuff, you know? Uh, but I was like, whoa, look at them. And now that, <laughs> but it was like, it was a different time than now. Now it's, everything's just on the internet. Everything's easy to find. Um, and it's really hard, you know, to stop kids. That's why you got these parent, uh, parental guides, you know, to help, uh, you know, stop that kind of thing. But I think Twitch doesn't really care. I don't know what's going to happen to the future of Twitch because this doesn't seem like the way Twitch should go. Um, just recently, they updated it that they could do multi-streaming because you couldn't even do that. It was so dumb. Other platforms, you can multi-stream, but Twitch was the only one that couldn't do it. So multi-streaming, if you guys don't know, is you can multi-stream. is You can stream on YouTube, Rumble, Kick, Twitch, wherever you want at once with you know like a chat so you have multiple places you're streaming at, at once on 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 the you know different sites so that's multi-streaming and twitch hasn't been doing that they recently updated their tos so you can multi-stream now ever since you know the percentage of content creators get and twitch gets you know the 50 50 and uh not like youtube or rumble which is like 70 and then they get like 30 percent of the revenue you know like what you get so yeah and then kick does like 90 or 95 percent and then they get like five or ten percent kick so kick is like the craziest from all of them you know but like twitch is like the most desperate and the least you get is on Twitch with the 50-50 split, you know? So uh, this aligns with one of the three uh, reasons Twitch gives more pie for her ban. Earlier this week, leaving viewers assuming that topless streamers might be allowed moving forward. All right. And then Twitch also admitted that its previous outlook on their content was out, out of line with industry standards and resulted in female presenting streamers being disproportionately penalized uh yeah they're showing tits and ass and all that sorts of things like even with dudes like double standards it should be the same for women and men you know like this is not nudity this is you come here to socialize with people in, on the internet talk to people play games talk you know topics you know it's content that people want to be with you and want to you know enjoy each other's company that's what it's all about you know but like for some reason it became like a strip club or something you know um other policies that were once prohibited are now allowed with the label included fictionalized fully exposed female presenting breasts or any gen genitals or buttocks regardless of gender body writing or female you know kick has also some tos about this but it has like a limit of how much you can show this one seems like uh it's just full on you know and or buttocks regardless of gender and erotic dances that evolve dis disturbing and disrupting gestures such as strip teases. That's not all certain dances, such as twerking, da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gam Excuse, uh, let's see, what else? We, we're we now allowed, uh, pole dancing, are now allowed to stream on Twitch without label. And broadcasts that are labeled with drugs, uh, intoxication, or excessive tobacco use, violating violent and graphic depucations, gambling, and or sexual themes will be no longer be allowed on Twitch which homepage but the others will probably uh i don't know this marks a major shift for twitch's policies and such content while response currently appears to be mixed many viewers are happy about the changes coming 
to the site's homepage regardless. She uh, said something about, yeah, the, I, wasn't, I wasn't topless. And then she showed herself downward and she had jeans on and like she had the top where it's like half, you know, and uh, there was no strap for her shoulders. So it was just like a top top, you know, right here where her chest was. And she went down. It's like, see, I'm not topless. I was just kidding. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Kind of weird. She was like shaking them on stream too, like her titties. It's like, what the heck is going on, you know? It's not friendly content, not for children, not family friendly, uh, 18 plus. Um, it's probably going to be promoted on their main page. If not, uh, it's probably going to be on the bottom of the home page and it's going to be there. You're going to have a lot of the e thought girls and all that stuff and some dudes. You know, if you're into that stuff, you know, whatever, you know, uh, if you're into that stuff or a strap on, maybe there's going to be some cock and balls. You never know, you know. <laughs> um, ah! Who knows what else will they're going to be showing? Uh, fuck, it's it's a little too much. It's a lot, you know, and it's a lot of craziness. That's why I said it's getting weird on Twitch. And uh, this is why I moved away from Twitch. Uh, Twitch, very toxic and not friendly for even smaller creators. Um, and if the bigger creators I see on there are just absolute, some of them are just trash. There's some good ones, you know, here and there I like, I do follow, but there's a lot of just annoying, weird ass people on there, uh, especially the IRL ones. The IRL ones are just drama, crazy drama. Okay, what do you guys think overall about Twitch's new TOS update, all this? Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring it up. I don't know if you guys know about it or not. I just wanted to talk about it, this topic and give you about what's happening with this uh, thing. Because I started on Twitch, and now I see Twitch where it's going. And I always, I've seen it for years, what's going to happen. If you're a Twitch streamer right now, this is kind of like, oh, this is not good for you. Because maybe a lot of those, you know, mostly probably males, are going to be going to these streamer, these women streamers, topless streamers or whatever. E thoughts they probably do anyways and you're gonna be losing some viewers or whatever or maybe you should do if you're just on twitch i hope you're multi-streaming because you, you should be on like youtube or rumble or, or kick or somewhere else because twitch is not the place to be if you just want to be there uh for sure uh content creators are getting fed up with twitch and you know i see it too and you know it's it, it, i don't know what do you guys think overall uh let me know in the comments below and i really appreciate all of you once again for coming and watching uh if you've been this long i really do thank you so much guys until the next time see you again guys catch you later